here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of Fourier transform welcome to video number 21 and in this video we are going to start a new topic on uh, Fourier transform that is Parseval's identity okay so before I start this video I would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of Fourier transform with your friends if you are doing this then you are supporting me okay so let us start that is Parseval's identity for Fourier transform if Fourier transform of f of x and g of x are f of s and g of s respectively it means if Fourier transform of f of x is this f of s and Fourier transform for g of x is g of s okay then yes we have two identities okay very 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 important and we are going to prove okay prove this 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of s this is Fourier transform okay yes into g bar of s okay g bar of s ds equals to integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into g bar of x dx here we have put bar okay bar means complex conjugate okay remember this thing that is bar means complex uh, complex conjugate okay so 1 upon 2 pi int uh, integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of s into g bar of s ds equals to integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into g bar of x dx and the second identity is 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity square of f of s okay square of f of s equals uh, ds equals to integration minus infinity to plus infinity square of f of x dx okay yes so we are going to prove both one by one okay yes so since we know that the inverse Fourier transform of any function f of x okay inverse Fourier transform of any function f of x is given by this formula that is f of x equals to 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of s into e to the power minus s i s x ds okay this f of x is equal to 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of s into e to the power i okay minus of i s x ds okay now we will try to prove both but first we will try to prove this okay first part so i will take the rhs part okay i will take the rhs part and we will see whether this equals to this or not okay if i get this as my LHS then we can say that we have proved this first part okay so we know that is RHS part is okay here you can see the RHS part is this okay I have written this here okay that is integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into g bar here RHS equals to integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into g bar of x dx now here I will write g bar of x as something okay g bar of x equals to 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity g bar of s into e to the power i s x ds let us know how it came okay yes we know that f of x equals to 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of s here we have f of x then here we need to write f of s okay into e to the power minus i s x ds okay but here we are writing okay don't see this bar sign okay simply write g of x okay g of x will become 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity g of s into e to the power minus i s x ds okay but here we have bar sign okay that means we need to find the complex conjugate so we'll put a bar sign that is this okay and we will also find the complex conjugate of this part okay simply write uh, simply write the uh, the coefficient of this i okay simply change or you can say simply change the coefficient of this i okay that is here we have negative sign so we need to put here a positive sign okay if we want to find the complex conjugate for this this part then we will write positive sign instead of this negative sign because we need to change the sign of this i okay here we have negative so we are writing positive had this been positive then we would have written written negative sign okay so this is going to be this that is minus infinity to plus infinity f of x here it is as it is now g bar of x will become in 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity g bar of s into e to the power i s x ds okay now don't forget to write this dx here okay now we will yes here you can see uh, <coughs> this integration is for s and this integration okay is for x okay now here we are changing the order of integration here you can see 
the limit for s is minus infinity to plus infinity and the limit for x is minus infinity to plus infinity okay since limit are both uh, limit are same for both the variables so we can directly change the okay variables okay changing the order okay that is first we'll in integrate with respect to x and thereafter we'll integrate with respect to s okay so when you are integrating with respect to x then yes here we need to put this f of x within this integration part okay that is 1 upon 2 pi is as it is now since we are integrating with respect to x so g bar of s g bar of s will be treated as constant so writing this okay integration minus infinity to plus infinity writing this part here because this is independent of x okay because we are integrating with respect to x x and here we have function of s okay so g bar of s now taking this here within this integration part that is integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into e to the power i s x okay now dx and write this ds here okay so by the definition for the transform we know that integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into e to the power i s x dx is what f of s okay so we can say 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity plus infinity g bar of s okay into this part is what f of s and don't forget to write this ds okay so we can say finally that is we have proved okay because this is what this is my lhs part you can see here yes this is the lhs part 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of s into g bar of s ds okay so this was LH, uh, rhs and this was lhs and we have finally proved okay that is lhs equals to rhs okay so we can say that the first identity is proved okay now if you want to prove second identity okay if you want to prove second identity then simply do one thing okay just do one thing that is put g of x equals to f of x okay yes simply put g of x equals to f of x you will get the yes second identity that is 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of s square okay that is square square of f of s ds equals to integration minus infinity to plus infinity square of f of x dx okay you can get after putting g of x equals to f of x in equation number or you can see in the first part okay so after this we will see some important Fourier cosine and sine transform parcel or parcel identities here we have some very important parcel identities for Fourier cosine transform and Fourier sine transform okay we need to remember each and every identity because while solving problem on this topic we will uh, we will be using this formula okay so yes the first parcel identity for cosine Fourier cosine transform is 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity yes this is FC means Fourier cosine transform okay into gc okay that is also for the cosine transform so fc of s into gc of s ds equals to integration 0 to infinity f of x into g of x dx okay this is the first for the cosine transform parcel identity second parcel identity for cosine for the cosine transform is this that is uh, simply put this equal to this okay so you will get this or you can say if you put f of x equal to g of x you will get this okay that is 2 upon pi integration minus, uh, 0 to infinity okay yes here we have square of fc of s okay ds equals to integration 0 to infinity square of f of x dx these two are yes you can see subscript is c okay that mean, they, it means these two possible identities are for Fourier cosine transform but if you see in the third and fourth part okay here you can see the subscript used is s okay subscript used is s so we can say these two possible identities are for Fourier sine transform okay so first is 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity f of s okay f fs of s into g or uh, gs of s ds equals to integration 0 to infinity f of x into g of x dx and the last is 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity square of fs of s ds equals to integration 0 to infinity square of f of x dx okay you need to know uh, and remember okay all the four identities okay two alpha for your cosine uh, transform and two fossil identities alpha for your sine transform okay yes and yes we are going to solve these two important problems okay these two problems are very 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 important yes the question says using parcel identities we need to prove this that is first is integration 0 to infinity dt upon a square plus t square into p square plus t square equals to pi upon 2ab into a plus b okay 
yes and the second problem says zero to infinite integration zero to infinity t square upon square of t square plus one dt equals to pi upon four believe me both the questions are very 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 important okay yes thank you thank you so much for watching this video